The biggest cheating scandal in track mania history. How, what happened? I'm so curious. I need to know. In every form of competition, there will always be cheaters. Our innate competitive drive and desire to win often lead people to do irrational things. Wait, and this is always... world? No, it's not. Oh, it is. Oh, shit, dude. Be those who are willing to go to extreme lengths to become the best by cheating and playing unfairly. Trackmania is an extremely competitive racing game franchise. In every Trackmania game, the goal is simply to drive as fast as you can to the finish line on any select track. There are individual leaderboards for each track in every Trackmania game. And on every leaderboard, there's often not more than a few hundredths of a second separating good players from the very best players. In such a competitive environment, it's easy to develop thoughts of grandeur and contemplate cheating in order to win. Over the years, there have been some players who attempted to cheat, but most of them were quickly caught due to being reckless and using easily detectable cheating methods. Idiots. With the rise of things like tool-assisted speedrunning, perhaps the Trackmania community should have been more aware that someone could have discovered more sophisticated cheating methods and successfully managed to pass off cheated runs as legitimate. We were naive enough to think that it couldn't happen. The Trackmania community is mostly based on trust and respect, and it was unimaginable to think that any of the top players would sink as low as to cheat records. But early in 2021, the community member Donadigo discovered the biggest instance of suspected cheating in Trackmania history. Uh -oh. This discovery required a big investigation spanning over several months, with thousands of world record replays being analyzed. And now, the results of this cheating investigation are final. Before watching the video, I highly recommend that you go and read the full report. The link to it is in the top of the description. No, I, trust, I also want I trust to be you, very Wordle. clear that this video is not about hating on anyone or stirring up drama. The purpose of this video is to document the events that have happened and to address the situation the Trackmania community is now facing. What I'm presenting here are solely my opinions about the report, and those opinions are not reflective of the report in any way. Because of the scale and the severity of the events, I will be calling players oh, by their shit. actual gamer tags. Please be civil and do not harass or make any attempts to contact the players mentioned in this video. First things first, it's important to understand how the Trackmania leaderboards work. In order to claim a record in Trackmania, you must upload a replay file of your speedrun. Okay. Replay files are automatically created by the game when you complete a run, and they store the exact inputs a player did in that run. I didn't replay know that. files can be easily shared and uploaded to the leaderboards to then be downloaded to be viewed or raced against by other players. Replay files are great because they create a very low barrier of entry to competition, as players don't need to buy recording equipment in order to compete in Trackmania. But it also makes Trackmania leaderboards more susceptible to cheating, as with no requirement for live video evidence, it creates a possibility for cheating. The replay files in Trackmania also store a player's exact inputs. This is something that Donadigo discovered in 2019. Donadigo developed a tool that could extract inputs from replays and then play them back with a script to perfectly recreate a player's run. As in Trackmania- Wait, you can't just download someone's run and watch it in the client? You can't do that? So this guy had to... Wait, you can. Oh. But this is for the exact inputs. Is that what this shit is on the top so you can see exactly what they're doing? Is that what he made? The physics are completely deterministic, meaning that all physics happen as a direct result of a player's actions. Mm. Let's take press forward tracks as an example. On press forward tracks, all the player has to do is press forward. And because the input is the exact same in every run, the result will also be the exact same every time. This same principle applies for any complex string of movements as well. The exact same sequence of inputs in Trackmania will always produce the exact same result. Yeah, that thing at the top. Vladigo later developed a tool that would display these inputs fetched from replays, so that players could analyze in high detail what exact steering movements were done in a world record run. And for a while, this functioned as a great learning resource. But early in 2021, a player requested Vladigo to display the inputs of a record set by the Trackmania streamer and content creator Riolu. And compared to what other players' inputs look like, Riolu's <laughs> inputs looked strange to say the least. The steering movements were very erratic and jittery, and they didn't seem to make any sense whatsoever with how one would normally play the game. 
but a possible explanation was that maybe the input display was incorrectly showing the inputs. Ah. Well, Donaldigo did several tests on this. He extracted the inputs from Riolo's replay on CO5 Endurance, which is a record Riolo drove live on stream. Then he compared his own display with inputs taken from the replay file to the input display Riolo uses on his live stream, and he found that the movement on both matched very accurately. Several comparisons like this were done, and it proved that the tool definitely wasn't at fault. After all, all the tool does is display the inputs the game received, so it does make sense that it is accurate with the live movement. Okay. But could there be any other logical explanation for these inputs, like a broken controller, high sensitivity, playing on a joystick, or perhaps a third party tool could affect inputs such as DX Tweak? All these possibilities were rigorously tested for and they can be read about in the report. But in none of the tests done with these settings did players get close to replicating the inputs in Riolo's runs, in terms of frequency or precision. With these possibilities exhausted, an investigation was launched with the goal of figuring out if Riolu and potentially other Trackmania players were playing unfairly. An early suspicion was that the inputs could be a result of slowing down the game speed, using software like Cheat Engine. The uh -oh. advantage of driving Trackmania in slow motion is that you can be much more precise in turns, and have superhuman reaction times to situations happening in a run. And slowing down the game speed does not invalidate the physics of a run, as the game doesn't check if a run was driven in real time or not. But when played back in normal speed, the inputs from such a run would obviously look insane. A player called Ogus was already banned from the Trackmania community for this exact method of cheating, and oh, Riolo's no. runs did show some similarities to Ogus controller movement. For the sake of fair competition, we began looking into the idea of the runs being driven in slow motion. Uh oh. I will be skipping over most technical details of the investigation in this video, but they can be read about in the report. Since we knew that inputs and runs driven in slow motion would most likely be much more rapid than the inputs and runs played at normal speed, we developed a metric called spikes per second, in order to Damn, automatically detect replays containing fast steering movements. Any time a player would change from steering left to right, or vice versa by more than 2000 units, it would count as one spike. We then did an automatic analysis of 25,000 available replays from the leaderboards, oh, searching shit. for the ones with high spike per second values. It's important to understand that high spike per second values does not mean that someone is automatically cheating, as it can just as likely be the result of things like using a defect controller, which would create a lot of noise in the analog input signal. My controller this looks analysis like that. for replays containing high spike per second values was merely an indicator into which players should be investigated further for potential cheating and each detected player's case was carefully looked into in the report. I will now focus on the case of Riolu, as he is by far the most well-known Trackmania player in this investigation, so we put great effort into ensuring that the case is robust, and that we have considered all possibilities of how his records were achieved. Riolu has uploaded 573 records to the leaderboards, okay. in Nations and United Forever. In total, his peak spikes per second average out at 11.73 which is a very high score considering the number of records. Upon closer inspection, we found that only runs played offline exhibited very high spikes per second, and unnatural fast tapping movements, ah. while his steering movements in runs played live on stream or on online servers is much smoother and the steering changes are less agile. Throughout the investigation, we have tried to find one online record or one run driven on stream which would showcase Riolu's ability to do these hand movements in a live setting, but we have yet to see any evidence of Riolu being able to reach such <laughs> high spikes per second while driving precise corners. We have examined the possibilities of software such as DX Tweak or Joy to Key potentially I just affecting find it inputs, funny. Cheaters are and so we funny. found that these tools do not modify a controller's behavior in a way that yields this movement and especially not only at times when he isn't live streaming. The second most notable player that this investigation turned up is Techno, who together with Riolu occupied the top spots on the Trackmania United solo mode rankings for years. Techno reached out to us and admitted to having played many of his records in slow motion, using uh. Cheat Engine at anywhere from 40 to 80% of real game speed. He also notes that he isn't proud of it, and that it was something that he felt he had to do at the time to keep up with Riolu. Interestingly, the oh, inputs whoa. in runs that Techno has admitted to playing in slow motion, and the inputs in Riolu's suspected runs, look very similar in their nature. 
both players reaching incredibly fast tapping speeds and doing very sudden movements. Following this, two more players among the 10 that deviated the furthest from the norm, Luntz and Nico, have also reached out to us and admitted that they drove their records in slow motion. Damn. And when compared, their replays also exhibit the same behavior as seen in Riolu's offline records. We invite Riolu to provide a logical explanation for why his inputs look this way in his off-stream runs. But after exhausting all other possible explanation, we can only reach the conclusion that the incredibly fast input seen in Riolu's offline runs must be a result of using an external program to modify the speed of the game. Or, to put it quite simply, we argue that Riolu has cheated his records by driving in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> the extent of this goes beyond just record set in Trekmania in United mode. Forever and Trekmania Nations Forever. These same steering movements can also be seen in runs on Trekmania 2 Canyon, Trekmania 2 Valley, Trekmania 2 Stadium, and also in Trekmania 2 Lagoon. These inputs also occur in Trekmania Turbo, both in world record runs and also in the Super Trackmaster Metal replays. In 2015, <laughs> Rioli was invited by Ubisoft Nadeo to set strong target times that will be included in Trackmania Turbo. Oh, a tough shit. challenge for players to try to beat. And we argue that he cheated these STM replays as well. No. The earliest suspected cheated replays emerged in 2011, and we see a steady <laughs> pattern all the way until 2020. The most recent run being uploaded on the 7th of December 2020. Oh, we would no. argue that he cheated the vast majority of records driven off stream during this period totaling up to potentially thousands of cheated records. That's In so the description, long. there will be links to playlists with 200 of Riolu's records from various Trackmania games, so you can analyze the data yourself and reach your own conclusions. Holy shit! So but you might ask yourself, Riolu is such a good Trackmania player, so why would he cheat? This we don't know, and it's something that we can only speculate about. A YouTuber called Carl Jobs deals a lot with cheaters in speedrunning, and one of his famous quotes is that Great players don't cheat to get a good time, they cheat to get a good time faster. Nobody would deny that Riolu is a good ah. Trackmania player, he has demonstrated this in live competitions. But ego and a desire to be the best can often get the best of great athletes and players. And when chasing big goals, like trying to get to the top of the solo mode ladder, or simultaneously holding all world records in a game, and getting tantalizingly close to achieving them, it might be easy to get lured by the temptation to cheat but we will never truly know why he might have done this until he himself comments about it. Riolu recently went live on Twitch to talk about this situation <laughs> before the release of the report. In the live stream, he did not state any possible explanation for his inputs, but instead spent most of the time attacking me for how I approached him in private. These following things are only something that I wanted to address personally, and this section is not in any way part of the actual investigation. On the live stream, he started by showing our private Discord conversation. Oh, At no. one point in this conversation, when shown a suspected keyboard replay on the track Stadium A3, he claimed to not have driven the record, even though it was driven on his in-game account and uploaded to his Trackmania Exchange account. We looked into this claim and found that his story did not add up. The Trackmania uh -oh. Exchange website stores your login sessions, and in this login <laughs> session, Riolu also uploaded several legitimate personal best records leading us to believe that he was lying and that the keyboard run on Stadium A3 was indeed driven by him. The same fast key tapping movements are also present in some of his Trekmania 2 Canyon runs that he would later drive on keyboard, runs that he himself uploaded to his YouTube channel, also tying into the idea that this record was driven by him. When we asked him to send us his replay folder for analysis, something that could help prove his innocence, he declined. This is a very easy process, and it only takes a few clicks to do. Trackmania replays are a few kilobytes in size each, so even thousands of replays across several years of play would only amount to a few gigabytes at most. He also accused me of blackmailing him when I wrote to him that I'd urge you to think carefully about the tone you speak in, uh -oh. as it might just make things worse when the report comes out. If you'd like to speak about this privately instead, then I'm open for it. Brother! Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus Christ, that's blackmailing if I've ever seen one. Like, I'd urge you to think carefully about this tone you speak in. Is he my dad? I mean, that guy's a fucktard already. Uh, so, I don't know, man. Holy shit.
Ooh, fuck Many people tart. found this comment to be too pushy and rude, and I can own up to it and say that the way I wrote it wasn't perfect. Me and Riolu have been friends for several years, and my intention with this comment was to warn him of the potential backlash that big public comments could have if the report found him to be cheating. As once things are public, it's much harder to walk back statements you've made. This is also why I wish the matter could be resolved privately before reaching the public. In that very same message, he also omitted the playlist of runs that we sent him, making many people believe that we were witch hunting him over things that happened 10 years ago. I personally wouldn't be talking about this if it was only about records that old. Everyone makes mistakes when they're young and everyone can learn from these mistakes. There's plenty of examples from other games of oh my players God, cheating simple. when they were young and growing up and becoming good at the game. Wait, but Simple cheated in Counter-Strike when he was young? Wait, what the fuck? Really? I didn't know that. Why are we watching this? This was like a, I don't know. I played every track Mania. This is, uh, <clears throat> I mean, this is, uh, I don't know. This is an interesting video about the cheats of track Mania and how some of the pros potentially, you know, well, from this, I don't know if it's potentially. I mean, the way they're going through all the evidence and how they caught the guy, it's kind of like, oh, shit, dude. Dealing with now is more they than just him. a single mistake. This is several hundred unique instances where Riolu has sat down and potentially cheated records, from the time he was 15 years old until he turned 25. What we are observing is not the result of a few mistakes made as a teenager, but habitual cheating behavior spanning nearly a decade. During the livestream, Riolu said, There's more at stake than just records. Who cares about the records? What matters more is actual human beings. And right now, human beings are not being treated very nicely. Which to me is a weird thing to say after 10 years of supposedly cheating, when he in those mm. years did not treat the human beings that he competed against very nicely, lacking any respect or decency for them at all. Yes. He mentions how his livelihood is at stake, but not once after becoming a Trackmania streamer in 2016 did he stop to think that this is something he should come clean about. Instead, we argue he continued to cheat records behind the scenes for many years after becoming a streamer, lying to the entire Trackmania community, his fans, his friends, and even lying to himself. If oh, I sound no. a bit harsh in my tone when talking to and about Riolu, that is because I am because this is a serious topic. As someone who is competing for world records in Trackmania fair and square, I find all forms of cheating to be absolutely appalling. Those who cheat play only for their own gain, with complete disregard for the effort and feelings of those who are competing fairly, and they I ruin agree. the spirit of the competition for everyone. And I believe that cheaters rightfully deserve to get called out on their actions when caught, no matter if they are a content creator or not. And if they are a content creator, then perhaps they should have thought better of starting a career on top of such shaky ground. After this livestream, many people have said that I'm only doing this for content, for fame and for money, and that I'm willing to backstab my friends. But I want people to know that the one thing I personally care most about is competitive integrity. For many years, I have been strongly against cheating, and helped uncover cases where it has happened in Trackmania. In 2017, I detected the player Strollbar cheating in the Trackmania tournament. I created a video documenting the findings and compiled all the available evidence against him, and uploaded this video unlisted to YouTube. The video was sent to tournament organizers, and it has stayed unlisted ever since. Then, in 2019, when the players Galagar and Yachtur cheated on Trackmania Exchange, I was part of the team that detected how they cheated. I was Damn. planning to make a video about the event, but after they confessed to it, I dropped the video to avoid unnecessary drama. And late in 2020, I approached Unadigo and asked him to make an anti-cheat patch for Trackmania Nations Forever, which is a product that he has now finished. And from now on, all world records on official and classic tracks will have to be played on the Trackmania competitive patch. This patch prevents players from being able to play in slow motion undetected, oh, among a damn. few other things. And hopefully this will lead to less instances of cheating in the future. My intention has never been to needlessly create drama. I just want clean competitive environments. In a perfect world, the cheating investigation report would simply be published, and the cheaters would receive their punishment, and then we would move on. But this case sadly completely ruins the trust people have towards the legitimacy of leaderboards, 
And we as a community now have to confront a very harsh reality about the game and about our history. Many current world records and thousands of records from the past have not been achieved legitimately. Oh, God. I hope people will think about this with an open mindset, instead of pretending that these things haven't happened. It is the only way we can move forward. I once again urge you to read the report for yourself, do your own analysis, you can even fetch the inputs from the replays and create your own input display tool if you'd like. The tools That's for this crazy, are man. all openly available. And all of this wouldn't have been possible without Unadigo. Without him and his effort, it could have been several years until this situation was detected and dealt with. Yeah, I don't gotta worry about any investigation. The situation I fucking would suck. have been even worse. If you would like to show him a few cents of appreciation for his effort, there will be a direct donation link in the description below. I personally can thank him for making sure that my videos in the future won't put the spotlight on players who've lied and cheated to gain an unfair Yeah, that's advantage. crazy though. But instead... So that, that dude cheated. Uh, well, I mean, there's heavy, heavy evidence and the way they went about figuring it all out <clears throat> was pretty damn crazy man that was that was that was uh that was crazy man holy shit man wait simple a simple a simple cheated in 1.6 oh but yeah he's simple so good at the game now so uh it's just it was funny how some of uh, some people go to that extent to cheat but uh I mean, shit, man. I mean, the thing is, if he was the one that was... If uh, whoever... What was that guy's name? Rio, what the fuck was his name? Riolu? Right? Riolu. Uh, he seemed to have the most evidence against him uh, in terms of, like... I mean, he's who they analyzed the most. I wonder if there's, like, a shit ton of pros that cheat. Or if he's just the one... Ravioli, whatever. He may be Rolos. Maybe he's the he's the one they mainly focused on. He also denied it. Yeah, I mean, of course he's gonna deny it. But uh, I mean, it was. They got a fucking report. They got fucking uh, seeing when he logged in and uploaded his replays. They caught him in a lie. They fucking debunked his replays and made software to figure shit out. I mean, shit, man. <clears throat> 20 years 20 years I mean shit bro that's crazy man how did they ch I mean they slow down the game for like very precise movements I'm assuming 10 dude 10 years oh fuck 10 years I thought it was 10 I read 20 in the chat fuck that guy I believed him uh yeah, man. I don't know. Like, uh, is he... I mean, what's the conclusion? Is he just denying it? And then everyone moved on? And they're like, You cheat, bitch! But can you queue one more time? Please? No real evidence he vanished? Wait, he's gone. He vanished. Wait, seriously? He got dropped by the org. Oh. I wonder what made them start the investigation, though. Like, what was like, What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> did I miss that? Was it just like, hey, how the fuck did this guy just get 0.80? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Was that? Oh, yeah, true. The input started it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why did they look at his? Because, well, I mean, he's a pro and it's like, oh, shit, how did he do this? And then they looked at his inputs and then, well, everything went from there. Yeah, that was the beginning. Yeah, that was fucking funny, though. Not fun. It's like sad funny type shit. You know what I mean? Because that's like a long fucking... <laughs> that's a decade of world records. And I don't know what... I mean, okay. In, in the... I don't know Trackmania esports. How... R Ravioli. Where was he in the Trackmania pro scene? Like, I don't know how many people play Trackmania. I know there's like fucking 50 in Trackmanias or some shit. I know that uh, there's tournaments, but... I know this is more popular in Europe, not so much in NA, um, but like, what are we talking about here? Is there like a hundred, are you on a team in Trackmania or is it solos? It's solo, right? He played in the top league, 16 players. Okay. Is he, what, is he considered like one of like the top 60? So he's, is he, he's considered top 16 in the world. He is one of the best in the world. Okay. I wonder how many people play Trackmania. I also wonder if this is the most popular track mania right now.
Wait, Scrappy, you're top eight in the world? Holy shit, I'm like bottom fucking five. He was in Nordvind org? I don't know. Oh. This is the only track mania currently used for competition. It's very popular. Cup of the day has thousands of racers every day. Wait, cup of the day. I honestly only when I play this game, I've only played the battle royale and I play on the fast servers. That's all I do. I don't really know if that's like the main shit people do in this game. I don't know what like the what the main queue is. Every day 1 p.m. EST is a tournament. Wait, is and is that how they determine it? So every day you could compete to be the best and anyone can play. So it's literally just anyone connects, anyone plays and some motherfuckers are top of the world cuz they're like hitting the fastest times on those tournaments constantly. There's a fun tourney and you can be the best of the day. Oh, I see.